We've made it to midweek and it's Winey Wednesday. Joining us today is Bob Mazza from Mazza Wines. And he's so excited today to talk about some major awards that were won um, by, by your uh, uh, entrepreneurship. And I think it's really, you were kind of explaining it to me off camera, what this means to you as a business, mm -hmm. but what it means for our region as well. So first of all, explain the award and where it came from. Okay, well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here again yeah. with you, Amanda, and uh, the award that uh, we just recently procured is from Decanter uh, Wine World Competition, which uh, their headquarters are in London. And this is actually the most prestigious international competition uh, in the world. Uh, the, this year in the 2024 competition, there were 18,000 entries mm. from 57 countries <laughs> and uh, only 20 uh, gold medals were awarded to US wines and we were one of the recipients yeah, of, of that gold medal. And what also is uh, very noteworthy is the fact that this is the first time a Pennsylvania producer has been awarded a gold medal. So yeah. uh, it's uh, it's even more important from that uh, from that vantage and point. And which wine won that? That was our perfect rosé. We have mm -hmm. uh, a perfect line of uh, uh, perfect blanc, perfect uh, bubbly, perfect red, and perfect rosé, and mm -hmm. it's our 2022 vintage of Perfect Rosé, which is made, uh, the other important factor is that it was made from a uh, French American hybrid. Mm. And generally when you think about international wine competitions, it's usually vinifera varieties, the European varieties. Mm -hmm. French American hybrids either never or very, very seldom win awards. So the fact that a French American hybrid grown in the Lake Erie region, yeah. the AVA of Lake Erie, uh, is very, very important. Well, you've been doing this a long time, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. What, when, when you win an award like this, what does this mean for the region? It, it certainly shines a spotlight on well, our Well, it, it certainly does. I mean, we're very proud of, uh, of the honor that we have of winning this award, but as you say, it, it really uh, shines a, a spotlight on the region, uh, uh, specifically Pennsylvania, but we like to bring it down more to a local level. Pennsylvania is such a diverse, growing, area in the entire state. Mm -hmm. I mean, our Lake Erie Appalachian is so much different than the uh, Lehigh Valley or the Brandywine region or the Susquehanna region. Mm -hmm. You know, quite a bit of difference in growing and also the varieties that are, uh, that are representing those areas. So we really like to promote the region. We like to promote ourselves, but more importantly, it's all about promoting the region because yeah. with that, we get credibility and with credibility comes more visitors and the opportunity of uh, marketing our wines globally. And now you have international distributors that are coming to you and saying, we, we want your wines. That's correct. We've started uh, dabbling in the export market. Uh, our son Mario is uh, a partner in an export company. And within the last few months, he was in uh, Germany, Paris, and Hong Kong, three of the largest trade shows in the world. We've managed to ship some wine already to New Zealand. We've got some orders actually going to Denmark very soon. And now all of a sudden, some of the distributors that they contacted, they're now contacting us yeah. because of this award. That's and great. that, uh, I don't wanna say that's unheard of, but that's really, really nice when that happens, when they Absolutely. reach out to you. Well, congratulations, Bob, and that, that's wonderful. Uh, you know, Maz has been here for so long, you know where to find all their great wines. Go to their website, enjoymazza.com for more information um, on all the things that they offer locally. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you, and congrats again. That's Thank really you. something. Thank you so much, yeah. Amanda. When we come back, we're gonna check in with Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen.